Well, you know what? It's so inspiring to meet some of South Africa's really incredible youth that are creating their own success every single day through hard work and determination. That's right. Well, one young man from Cape Town is making his dreams come true with exceptional skills in martial arts. Karate has taught me uh, how to respect others, um, how to respect myself, how to respect my body, how to make good choices in life, and the kumite. The kumite is basically the fighting, and that is what I love. Um, that is what I've been chosen for to represent South Africa at the World Champs in Spain in October. 17-year-old Aidan Jackson from Mitchell's Plain has been doing karate for most of his young life and has ranked number one nationally in his age and weight category. I was introduced to karate at the age of four and me and my father is basically best friends and I always wanted to be where he was. So when he started teaching karate, I came along with him to karate and since then I never looked back. And my sensei as a father is a bit frustrating because he can demonstrate with his full force and without being worried about um, I can go tell my mother or anything because we're we going to the same place. I really also enjoy it because I mean, it's my father who wouldn't want to be with his father every day. Aiden has become a beacon of hope for his community and his big dream is to compete at the 2020 Olympics. As his sensei, Aiden's father has firmly supported his goals. Aiden is, is a champion because he's hard work. I mean, every time we come to the dojo, Aiden is always first up to put the mats down. He's always working hard with his feet and his hands. He's thinking he's not really to fight in South Africa, but to fight the people uh, that's going to the World Championships. So his preparation is to compete on the highest level. Uh, I'm very proud as a sensei, but more proud as a father. Because where we, uh, in Mitchell's playing where we live, the young people his age are doing all the wrong things. But as a father and as a community member, I'm very proud of my son that he's following in my footsteps and to be a role model for other youngsters that is his age also. Karate at my level comes with many sacrifices, which includes training five times a week, eating right, sleeping right. Life is different for me as a 17-year-old living in Mitchell's Plain. Uh, my priorities is definitely different to all of the, all of the other people. Um, I have to come home from school, straight from there, grab a snack and straight to training. So I don't really have time to think. I get home, do my homework and to sleep. My biggest achievement today is that I've been chosen to represent South Africa at the World Champs in October. I've been waiting for this opportunity for three years and I finally got chosen in this year. I'm looking forward to be, I think, the second person in, I think, the history of South Africa to win a medal at there because there's only one person that won and I'm hoping to be the second person. I've been to the World Championships four times, so I know what it's going to take for Aiden to get to that level. So my, our next step is just to work very hard, to be focused, to get to Spain. But the problem is that I know what it takes to get there financially. I had the talent, but the money was always the struggles. But through people that helped me, I could go to the World Championships and here my son is going. What an honor for me, what an honor for South Africa to have a boy from a disadvantaged area uh, focusing to go fight on the highest level. My hope is to go with my son there, to watch my son fight on the level and perfect his skill. I mean, I admire him when he was born as a small boy, not knowing that he will step into the highest level with the skill that I got. And there's so many youngsters that can look up to Aiden. Even if Aiden can believe he can get to the level, how many other youngsters can follow him and say, if Aiden can do it, I can also do it. The sport may be of Japanese origin, but this young man's talent and success are all homegrown. And we can't wait to see Aiden doing South Africa proud.